Hey everyone, Ivo once again and welcome back to another video and I wasn't really sure if I'm gonna do this review or if I'm gonna do if I'm actually gonna even talk about this film but I'm gonna do my best and that's gonna be Rent on Creed 2015 and like I said I wasn't sure if I even talk about this film but I will um, I'm not a fan of Creed series um, I don't like this film at all, but I don't hate it. I mean, do I think that Creed 2015 is actually one of Sylvester Stallone's worst movies? No. Do I think it's one of the worst Rocky films? No. But I do think um, that, uh, that the movie is very overhyped. Yeah, I said it. It's very, very overhyped. It's overrated. It does not deserve a score on 7.6. It does not deserve to be considered one of Rocky's best films because it's not. It's not the best. And 7.6 is way too overrated. None of the Rocky sequels that have the, uh, 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 won that kind of high score. Um, Rocky 2 got uh, on IMDb now 7.2, but it used to be 7.1. Um, Rocky 3 has, 7 uh, has actually 6.8. Rocky 4 has um, 6. 6.9 it did not even Rocky 4 did not even got 7 score on IMDb and um, Rocky 5 I think he has now a score 5 used to be below 5 around 4.9 something like that Rocky Balboa has a score 7.1 but this movie has like 7.6 on IMDb which is way too much overrated it's way too overhyped but it's not only because uh, I'm saying, oh, so I'm at the score, you're calling now it's over and over hype. Uh-uh. Because every time I watch the ranking videos of Rocky films, this movie is always like the second favorite by many of the fans. And I think that, that, I think that Creed 2015 is not that great of a film. Um, I think, uh, I, I don't think, uh, I, I still... Okay, I still hate Rocky V, and I'll probably say that Creed is, to me, to me, is better than, than Rocky V, um, because for one of the reasons he did the right, but for many of the reasons I actually do have problems with Creed, you know, for one of the reasons, the biggest problem I have with this film is actually Sylvester Stallone himself, because in my opinion, so, uh, Sylvester Stallone wrote and directed uh, um, Rocky Balboa, but got nothing. And, and I said, you know, when I did uh, a retrospective review uh, yesterday, or, or was it a day ago? Um, I think actually I did it yesterday. I uh, uh, I show my displeasure and dissatisfied with how how uh, Rocky Balboa was robbed out of the out of the Academy Awards. But this movie, this movie. Sylvester Stallone gets a, a, an Academy Award, he got an Oscar in 2016 for the best supporting role. He had nothing to do. He didn't wrote the movie, he didn't direct it. Ryan Coogler Jr. directed and then he also write the screenplay. Stallone had nothing to do, but also, so now he has a brain cancer. There's no Robert Balboa in this movie, no, uh, no Marie in this movie, there, no explanation that happened to Marie or Steps. Um, Paul is dead now, he, he's no living anymore, so they go and explain, oh, so now in Rocky 3, Creed won the fight, you know, because it has hinted who hit each other first, but it's there explained who won the fight, you know, when, uh, when Apollo Creed and Rocky were sparring each other, there was no explanation, but so now Creed won the fight, oh, it was secretly, so Celeste Stallone got who plays a brain damage, he plays a, a, a guy with a brain cancer, has nothing to do, does that jack shit, he wants to, oh, I want to die now, I want to die, and like, his, uh, uh, his friend, you know, uh, Adonis Creed shows up and says, oh, well, if you're gonna give, give up, I'm gonna give up, and he goes to, like, oh, fuck this movie. So, Stallone got what? An Oscar for, uh, for the best supporting role. He played a, a man with a brain cancer. Doesn't do jack shit. That, that's a terrible stuff in it. I mean, 
that 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 that's a you know what? Let's just allow you don't they did not deserve an Oscar for this movie. You know, Rocky Balboa deserved an Oscar. Rocky Balboa was uh, robbed from Academy Awards. You know, no, there's no motivation speech in this movie. It feels like a, a, a copycat. It feels like a, a a rip off of the first movie. Copies the first movie, makes a lousy lousy job in it. I mean. Rocky Balboa ended the series. It's less than all said for the instant times that he's done with Rocky movies, but he keep continue doing it for more. You know, and uh, I mean, so what the hell happened to the lines like, um, to the lines? Uh, uh, let me tell you something you don't know. Um, there's the there uh, there ain't no rainbow and sunshine. It's a very mean, nasty place, and it will. Beat you on your knees and let you permanently there if you let it. Um, I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and let you permanently there um, if you let it. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, you know, um, but it isn't about how uh, how you get hit. Uh, it isn't about how you 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 hit. It's about how you get it hit. Oh. I can't remember that that line. Um, I perfectly uh, learned that, that line. So let me try again. Because by the way, no, I'm not gonna uh, finish. I'm not gonna stop this video and go from the beginning. No, because I don't give a fuck about Creed or my uh, or who cares about my opinion. Fuck Creed 2015. You know, that's when my my response, you know. But yeah, but what the hell happened to that motivation speech? It ain't over till it's over. What's that? From the 80s, more 70s. Why would that speech was not actually nominated for Academy Award? Or, or the speech that I tried to explain. Let me tell you something that you don't know. The end the above uh, Rainbow and Sunshines. It's a very mean, nasty place. The word is very mean, nasty place. It, it will beat you on your knees and let you there permanently if you let it. Me, you, or nobody is gonna hit us live. But it ain't about how you hit. It's about how you get. It's about how you you get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how uh, uh, that how it's winning's done. So why that speech was not was not nominated for an Academy Award? Rocky Balboa is to me better than fucking Creed, you know. Rocky One is better. So Creed is now better than all Rocky sequels? No, I don't think it's not better, you know. Rocky Balboa ended the franchise. It ended the series. There was no need for another Rocky film. This was a rip-off, a spin-off of Rocky, you know. I mean, what the hell is that? What the hell is with with uh, with that speech? You know, you ain't. Uh, you know, let me tell you something. You don't know. There, are, there are no rainbow and sunshines. Uh, the world is very mean, nasty place, and it will beat you on your knees and let you there permanently if you let it. Be you or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard uh, you get hit. It's about how hard. You, you're getting hit and you keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. So what? Why was that that nominated? Rocky Balboa got jack shit. It got nothing. It got nothing. But this movie got what? An Oscar? He got, uh, Stallone got an, a, a supporting role, uh, an Academy Award that does not deserves it. Rocky Balboa was wrapped. And Stallone said, oh, uh, he was happy, you know. So the, he finished Rocky Balboa. I already said that uh, the, the Rocky IV could have ended the series, but Stallone had to keep coming for more to get more money. He admitted Rocky V, he did it because of the money and greed, you know. And yes, I hated Rocky V, I rented, I rented the film because I still hate Rocky V. I still think it's a bad movie, you know, from beginning to start, it's boring, you know. Now Creed, I still think it's better than Rocky V, but it's still, I, I still don't like the film either. Because it still has problems, you know. I mean, Rocky doesn't do almost anything. So now to the story, um, uh, directed by Ryan Coogler. 
uh, Hugh Later Man, The Directed, Black, pa Black Panther, um, Recipes, uh, uh, the actor who played Black Panther, Tachila, I think it was Chadwick Boseman, uh, Rest in Peace, he passed away, I mean it's really sad that the actor who played Black Panther passed away, I hated Black Panther tough, but it was really sad that the poor actor died, you know, um, don't know really what it was, but it's really a sad, you know, why did he had to die, the actor, you know, who played Black Panther, it's really sad. So now Ryan Coogler, he directed another movie with uh, Michael B. Jordan, uh, which was based on a true story, so they collaborated together, and the movie talks about a legacy from Apollo Creed, but first off, no Sylvia Mills in this movie, yeah, she's the actress, she was in Rocky 2 and Rocky 4, no, no, they, they just replaced her with some different actress that I don't know, that I don't care about, um, so, yeah, so that's how it was. So Adonis Creed as a he's a, he's a, not an underdog like Rocky. Rocky is an underdog, you know. I buy him. I don't buy Adonis Creed because he's a fucking rich guy. You know, he's a rich boy. He has a great job, great cars. He suddenly decides, you know, that that uh, that, that he wants to be a professional boxer. So he quits everything. He um, he quits his fucking job. He he uh, he moves back to Philadelphia, to South Philly. He somehow shakes down Rocky Balboa, he's a fairness now, no music soundtracks from the famous Rocky, no Bill Conti uh, song in the film. So he finds Rocky and tries to convince him, you know, and he tries, he tells him that actually that, that he's uh, Apollo's kid, you know, he's uh, his son of Apollo, and, um... Uh, so he tries to convince uh, Rocky to train him, and Rocky at first refuses, but then he decides to help him out with the motivation. And it's like Rocky keeps uh, continue, you know, he he goes and keeps continue. Um, I don't know the movie is kind of forgettable because they kind of remember already what it was, but he uh, he has a brain cancer. Adrian's dead, Paul is dead, no words from his fucking slave shithead son, nothing. I hate this movie, you know. So, in other hand, uh, Graham McTavish from Rocky, uh, no Rocky, from Rambo 4 that I reviewed, you know, came back in this movie and he, uh, he, uh, he's a promoter and um, he's actually a man, no, he's not promoter, he's actually a manager of his uh, current champion and um, he uh, he wants to have an exhibition match between um, Adonis Creed and his uh, champion, you know, his champion. And they both go uh, and at first I think that there's a, a few scenes in which I didn't like, like Adonis was like pissed off because Rocky says this because he's not champion anymore. I hated when how Adonis treated Rocky. Uh, when he was like called mean and he was like screaming at him There was also another relationship, you know, he goes he moves to the apartment and there's like uh, This bitch. Yeah, Tessa Thompson. She's like fucking deaf and she keeps making that fucking music score You know and he uh, wants to kick that guy's ass and she's that bitch, you know He says oh the, the music is annoying. She doesn't turn out the music. I mean, I hated it but what I most hated it was that she was now a love story, you know, so so now they copy the first Rocky, he tries to be underdog, it's a fucking love story, you know, he uh, he tries to get her and, uh, oh. honestly, Creed for me is forgettable, I don't have it in my collection, so fuck this movie. Um, I don't like, I don't buy, uh, I don't buy uh, Adonis being an underdog, I don't think he's an underdog, I don't think that he's, uh, the, 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 that he's convincing, I don't think this is a fairy tale, I mean, Rocky the original, uh, the original movie is a classic, you know, you can't repeat the first movie. The only thing that I did like it was, um, was when, when um, uh, Adonis went in a fight, you know, and he, 
Uh, you know, I still don't know why uh, why Adonis keeps continue calling Rocky Ank or why uh, or why Rocky hires some guys, some goons to train Adonis. I don't understand that. I don't understand. I mean, Rocky was a trainer to Tommy Gunn in Rocky V, and his uh, and Tommy Gunn showed disrespect, but he hires a few sparring partners for Adonis instead, training himself. I just don't get it. I don't get that the scene in front of a mirror. You know, he trades in front of a mirror. I don't get it. I don't understand the hype and the love for this movie. Why is so good about this movie? Why is Creed so good about a movie? It's not, you know. I don't like Creed at all. I don't like Creed at all. Crude. I don't like it, you know. I don't like it, uh, the, the, the legacy. I don't like the legacy. So yeah, so he watches a fight from Rocky 2. I don't give a fuck about it. Or he goes on YouTube and looks uh, the fight from Rocky 2. Or so now, uh, so now we are in, in the future and he, he's gonna try to be, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's trying to be just like Apollo. So he goes to his uh, ne ne nemesis, Rocky Balboa back, uh, tells him, Oh, you're my unk now, you're my unk and uh, let me train, you know, let me train. He has like the the, the same uh, sweatshirt, the same uh, the, the same sweatshirt with a hoodie. Try, uh, tries to be like Rocky, runs like Rocky. You know, the only thing that I did like about the film was um, after the the final fight. Um, I think it was Pete. I think that guy was Pete. You know, after that guy is Pete and his song. You know, um, that even if Adonis does not want the fight, you know. Um, he goes to the distance, which you already saw in the first Rocky. Yeah, it, we already saw in the first Rocky. He goes to the distance, but then he shows the respect and he also says thank you to the man who trained me. At least that fix from Rocky V, because I hated how Tommy treated Rocky, you know, in a Rocky V. I hated that. At, this, at least this movie shows a little respect. At least that's the only good thing that I liked. But Rocky has now a, a, a brain cancer, and he doesn't want to go to the sessions, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to fight. He just want to die. Oh, so instead, uh, give, let's give him an Oscar. You know, let's give him an Oscar, great Oscar material movie. No, you know, it's not an Oscar material. I mean, this movie is overrated, overhyped. It's overhyped. It's overrated. It's way too overrated. Oh, so now, you know, Rocky Balboa is like forgotten because Creed came out, you know. Let me tell you something uh, uh, that you don't know. The word in about, uh, the word in about Rainbow and Sanchez is a very mean, nasty place. And uh, I don't care who you are, it will beat you on your knees and let you permanently if you let it. Me, you or nobody is going to hit us hard. But it ain't about how hard you can, you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. It ain't over till it's over. What's that? From the 80s? No, it's uh, uh, Private DeSantis. Why those lines were not nominated for an Oscar? Why Stallone got, not, got nothing? You know, there is no need why they had to do nine years later, they had to release Creed. Oh, so now Michael B. Jordan is going to direct and make Creed 3. So now, uh, so now Clapperleg is going to show up. No Stallone in Creed 3, but Clapperleg by Mr. T is going to go, go, go be in the movie. To do what? What's going to Clapperleg do in that movie? What is going to be in that movie? I am so sick and tired of Creed series. I'm tired of those movies. I don't, I don't watch them anymore. Last year I explode after Creed 2. Creed 2 is the worst and single sack is the worst Creed 2 I have ever seen. You know. Creed 2015, yeah, it's still a bad move in my opinion, but not that bad, you know. But but Michael B. Jordan is gonna direct at Creed 3. He's gonna play Adonis Jr. now. I'm just gonna Adonis Jr. Crude. He's gonna play Adonis Crude. He's gonna play. And Clubberlang is gonna be in it from Mr. T. To do what? What's gonna do? He's gonna have what? A son? That he's gonna be like him, just like in Rocky, in Rocky 3? Why is that so, Why the characters from Rocky? What's this? A spin off? Is a series? What's this? Creed series? Are we that? Is the human IQ became so low? 
below standard percentage. You know, I know which uh, which kind is worse. You know, at least they don't fuck each other for the percentage. Oh my God! You know, Creed 2015. I don't get it. I don't get this movie. You know, I mean, I like that song from the from that uh, champion, but the the boxing fight to me was not convincing. It it kind of was lame. It was not convincing enough, um, and I don't buy the love story between Tessa Thompson. Why she's a fucking deaf? And the love story between Adonis. Oh, so now they're actually in the apartment, and Stallone says, "Oh, keep it quiet." <laughs> I'm sick and fucking tired. Every boxer in a fucking boxer movie has to have a girl. Fuck this movie! Fuck this movie! You know, there's neither one good boxing movie nowadays anymore. You know, show me one good boxing movie! Show me one good boxing movie! No, I did not see Cinderella, man. I have not seen The Fighter because I don't give a fuck about The Fighter with Christian Bell or Cinderella, man, with Russell Crowe. Fuck those movies, I don't care. You know, South Pow came out the same year as a better boxing movie. Million Dollar Baby, my better ba uh, movie th than fucking Creed. You know, South Pow, fantastic film. South Pow didn't go nothing, but Creed got it, you know. Million Dollar Baby, fantastic movie. Gladiator, 1992, with Cooper Gooding Jr., James Marshall, fantastic movie. Brian Dinhey, who passed away from First Blood, fantastic movie, you know. But no one talks about Gladiator. I don't know if the movie even released now on Blu-ray, you know. No one talks about Gladiator, fantastic boxing movie, you know. What about, what about that film, um, how does it call it? Um, Million Dollar Baby, fantastic movie. Clint Eastwood directed, fantastic movie. Yeah, I say a fantastic movie, you know, Million Dollar Baby. South Pow, Jay Gyllenhaal, fantastic movie. It's a fantastic movie. You know, the boxer has to, uh, he has to fight for, he has to go and has to fight for, uh, uh, for his daughter in the court. And he has to fight in the ring to get, uh, to earn respect and the title back, you know, because he lost after his wife gets killed, you know. Well, what, 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 what about Rocky Balboa? Rocky Balboa is a fantastic movie, you know. Even the soundtrack, you know, um, by, uh, it's a fight. By, by uh, Six Three Mafia, fantastic song, fantastic music score. It got jack shit, you know. Rocky One already know. Everyone knows that Rocky One is a better movie than Creed. Rocky Two, fantastic sequel. What about that sequel? Why that? Why that sequel didn't got an Oscar? Rocky Three, fantastic third sequel. <coughs> yeah, it got for the music song, uh, uh, the Survivor. They got, they got actually Academy Award, but. But it got nothing, you know. It was a fantastic movie. Rocky IV, the best Rocky in my opinion. It's actually the best Rocky in my opinion. The best Rocky. You know. Rocky IV is the best Rocky IV. The best movie. Creed could not even earn. It could not even uh, go out that, uh, and earn that kind of money that, that, um, that Rocky IV did. Rocky IV broke worldwide $300 million, worldwide, $170 million in the US, while worldwide $300 million. This movie could not even earn that kind of money, you know. Tessa Thompson, terrible actress, awful actress. Um, the running scenes are the same jogging scenes I already saw in the first Rocky film. It's now it's now the same fairy tale for the Rocky. Tries to be a Rocky film, it's not. It fails. Stallone doesn't do nothing in this movie except whining about about his uh, his brother-in-law, or it said whining that he has a fucking uh, he has a fucking brain cancer, you know. But he gets now an Oscar for playing a man with a brain cancer. Has nothing to do. Doesn't wrote. No, the screenplay does not direct it. He didn't direct the movie. He didn't wrote the screenplay. He did nothing. You know, he didn't do nothing. But he got an Oscar. I thought he didn't deserve it. 
You know, Stallone, you, you didn't deserve it. You did not deserve an Oscar for this movie. You, this movie, you're not an Oscar material for this movie. You didn't do nothing. You didn't do you know, the screenplay. You didn't direct it. You know, I mean, it's like, it stinks. This place stinks. It stinks. You know, yeah, it stinks, Stallone. This movie stinks, in my opinion. You know, the worst Rocky movie now. The worst boxing movie now. But it stinks. It stinks because you because you didn't do nothing. You didn't do throw punches. You didn't do nothing. You have not you didn't teach this kid nothing in my perspective way. You didn't do kids you didn't teach this kid nothing already to know. He already know everything. Oh, so he went in the in the boxing ring, you know, and he lost. He lost the fight. Because he was cocky, you know, that's why I say he was cocky. He was reckless and cocky. That's why he lost the first fight when he when, when, when he was keep bragging. I hated his stupid pride, you know. Tries to be Apollo Creed. You, you can't be Apollo Creed, you know. Creed 2015 isn't about uh, it isn't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take. And keep moving for that's how winning is done. And this movie did not do that. It did not do that. It didn't do nothing about it that I already seen before. I mean, I mean, this movie, fuck it, fuck this movie, you know. Yeah, the reason, um, the reason why I'm doing this uh, review is because I'm gonna finish Rocky series and it's time I finish the Rocky series. Uh, as you know, I'm gonna be one of the biggest Sylvester Stallone fans. Um, I love Sylvester Stallone and you can see I reviewed a few of his movies. Um, but seriously, this movie was terrible. It just, I just didn't like it that much. It's forgettable. I saw last year in August. And that time I didn't mind it, but still I had some few problems. But I don't like it that, that they say, oh, so now Creed, you know, so now, uh, so now Creed, um, so, so now uh, Apollo Creed won the fight in Rocky 3. It, it was hinted. I remember seeing the website years ago when I was in high school, they tried to hint the fans who hit each other first, who won the, their fight. You know, but this movie wrecked everything. Oh, so now Apollo Creed, yeah, I forgot that detail, I forgot, because I have not seen the film uh, since a year ago, because I forgot things. But so, suddenly, Adonis is not Apollo's son from um, Mary Ann, you know, he's actually adopted son, because Apollo had a, a, an affair, with, I think was a housemate, and she gave a birth to Adonis, I mean, what? It was why Apollo Creed, why they had to ruin his legacy on that way, you know. Oh, so. Why they had to ruin his legacy? Why? Why ruining his legacy like that? Oh, so he, so he went and he, uh, he, he, um, he, he cheated his wife by a housemate, you know. But so, so now Adonis is adopted son. But his last name is Creed anyway. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that, that's one of the reasons why this movie takes me out. You know. The, instead, continue the legacy, destroys the legacy by saying, Oh, Apollo won in uh, uh, the third fight between Rock and him. Oh, so now uh, Apollo, so now Adonis is an adopted kid. But Apollo uh, was actually having an affair, which was, which it wasn't in Rocky 2, it wasn't Rocky 3, it wasn't Rocky 4, it wasn't the first Rocky uh, even saying that. Rocky, mo uh, Rocky movies were actually a boxing film. This wasn't a boxing film. This was like a family film. Oh, so now this movie is PG-13? You know, so wait a second. Rocky 1, 2, 3, and 4 are on PG, 5th. PG-13, that's why I hated it. Rocky Balboa is PG, but this movie is PG-13 with Rocky 5. No wonder it's so, it, it stinks. No wonder this movie stinks, you know. Yeah, I said it. It stinks, guys. It stinks. 
I said it. Sue me. It stinks. Creed stinks. You know. So it's PG-13. So now it's better than Rocky Sequel. It's better than Rocky 2. Better than Rocky 3. Better than Rocky 4. Better than Rocky Balboa. So you're gonna say, oh, Rocky Y is the best. This is the second best one. It's not. You know. It's not the best one. You know. There's no motivation speech. No motivation speech, you know. I mean, Rocky 3 has better motivation speech. Uh, um, hey, don't uh, uh, make it yourself. Uh, uh, make it your right for yourself. Oh, you'd be sorry you didn't. You know. What What about that? Why Rocky 3 didn't go to uh, Academy Award? You know. Why uh, Car Vetters got, uh, did not got an award? One of the reasons is another problem, you know, that I read it on trivia. So, uh, uh, Sage Stallone, rest in peace, he passed away in 2012. This movie was filmed in 2015, but even though his kid died, you know, Stallone did uh, bullet to the head, he did Escape Plan, um, he did The Expendables 3, even though his son died, but he got the effects because his son died. But uh, Ryan Coogler convinced him to continue Rocky, you know, in which Creed helps him uh, to, um, to, um, to mourn and get over his loss. Which I don't get it. How? How? He did, uh, he did Bullet to the Head. He did Escape Plan. He did The Expendable Street that I hate. And, and, but, and then he goes doing this movie and he keep, keep continue claiming, Oh, so now uh, I'll feel bad because my son died. Already two, three years ago, but I'm gonna do this movie to help me out, which I don't get that. I don't understand it. How could it help it if Stallone did Bullet to the Head? He did uh, Escape Plan, the, the Expendables 3 at the time when his kid died. I don't get it or how this movie helped him or why he refused a few times not to do it. You know, it's only a better idea if he wasn't in, the, in this film at all. It, no, this movie is not an Academy Award. I don't think that Sylvester Stallone deserves an Oscar for this film. He does not deserve an Oscar for this film. Oh, the, 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 the five scenes are great. The five scenes are not great. You know, the training sequences are terrible. The music is terrible. Um, no, no Apollo, no Tony, no, no explanation what happened to two cameras. Oh, so his kid, Fraduk, is now in Creed 2. Oh, I forgot to mention, yeah, um, uh, Duke, uh, Duke Everest has a kid, and his kid, uh, instead that he will train uh, uh, Creed, he doesn't. He, he, because he's a Creed, he, he doesn't train him, he doesn't take him in his gym, he doesn't take him. I mean, Tony Duke, actually Duke Everest, was actually, um, he actually was uh, a manager and trainer for Apollo Creed. So, so now Duke's kid is not a thing that's gonna train Adonis, you know. So he goes to Rocky. I don't know wh what Rocky has to do with this movie. What this movie, what, wh what is with this movie, you know. I really don't understand this film. I don't get it. I mean, uh, Creed... I don't know. I don't like this film. I don't like this film. But I don't hate it that much as I hate Rocky V. Or how much I hate Ro Creed 2, which I'm gonna review today too. Because I don't... Frankly, clear, honestly, I don't care about those two movies. I don't care about those two movies. I keep Rocky V for the collection, but that is it. Uh, excuse me. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say, um, except that, that, uh, that Cesar Stallone Stallone uh, did not deserve to get an Oscar because Rocky Balboa, I would rather watch, I would, I would watch for the million times Rocky Balboa, I watch Rocky Balboa nowadays, I watch now Rocky Balboa, I'll go and watch Rocky Balboa right now than, than seeing this movie ever again, you know, Rocky Balboa is the greatest sequel, Rocky Balboa, Beats and clogs down Creed to death. It beats him to knees. It beats him. You know. Rocky 2 destroys Creed in my opinion. You know. Rocky 3 punches in the face Creed a million times. Rocky 4 fucking blows to pieces Creed in my opinion. 
Rocky Balboa beats the to hell at all his script, in my opinion. You know, I'm tired of the series. Terrible cast, terrible story. You know, except except when um. Except the finale when Adonis show respect to Rocky and the the uh, and his opponent. That's the only good thing that I liked last year, you know. But there's nothing to like about this film. It's forgettable, in my opinion. But Creed came out, so Creed is a fantastic movie. Creed is great. Creed is a fantastic movie. Oh. Rocky 2 is a fantastic movie. Rocky 3 fantastic movie. Rocky 3 ex Rocky 4 excellent fantastic movie. Rocky Balboa fantastic movie. Rocky 1 already know it's a classic, you know. Rocky 5 bad, lame and weak, a terrible, horrible, bad awful movie, you know. But Jesus man Jesus, man, and Christ, you know, this movie just, oh, just blows up. It just blows to proportion. This movie is overblown, overdramatic, overhyped, overrated. Um, I have not root for Creed, for the character rich boy Creed at all. He's, he's unlikable prick. He's a, he's a rich boy. He has everything, you know. While Rocky Balboa it was actually, uh, he, I buy him as an underdog because he was poor. You know, I, I buy his story. He, you know, he was poor. He, uh, he had nothing to eat. No one wants to have nothing to do with him. But Creed, he's a rich boy. He goes to Philly, tries to act like Rocky. Uh, uh, instead, the, the 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 Duke's son will train him. He blows him to pieces. You know, oh. I'm not a fan of Creed movies. I said for me, dance, fuck them, fuck Creed movies. You know. Anyway. That's my rant on Creed 2015. Stay tuned for the sequel. That movie is will be will be a mega rant because I'm gonna really trash that movie because that movie can kiss my dick. Um, but anyway, have a that's it for today, guys. Have a good day and stay tuned for Creed 2, which is come next after I upload this video.